Hi folks, today in the Garden Fix we're going to talk rose hips. Hi everybody, I'm Rob and I'm in Zone 6B Western Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to do a brief video on rose hips. And uh, as you can see, I have uh, a couple here right next to me on our arbor. Uh, this uh, plant that's growing on our arbor is uh, David Austin Rose. It's a climbing rose called Strawberry Hill. And if you follow our channel, you know that we don't have too many roses in our garden. That being said, um, I really, really like seeing these rose hips uh, in fall. Rose hips are actually the fruit that the rose produces. And it takes the form of what looks like a little crab apple. So these rose hips form if you do not prune your roses. Uh, and that's the dilemma that most of you rose lovers probably face. So I think next year what I'm going to do is uh, midsummer I'm going to stop pruning uh, our roses um, because I think there's a trade-off here uh, because uh, as you can see these rose hips look wonderful. Most rose hips uh, do form on roses and uh, often they are orange, uh, sometimes very red. Uh, sometimes there's even purple and black ones, but mostly they're orange and red, and they get redder as they become riper. So they will last through the, the fall and into the winter, and um, they will also uh, attract birds. Uh, blackbirds will take them, and uh, other birds will take smaller rose hips. Plus, they look fantastic, don't you think? So I think next year you're going to see a lot more rose hips in our garden. What do you think? <laughs> 